The seven star Charizard raid event is currently running in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. People are enjoying this event, doing it online and doing it solo. In today's video, we're going to go over the best Pokemon for you to take into this game to make sure you can do this solo, get yourself a Charizard and start farming all of the amazing item drops that we're going to get from this raid den. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So we know the event is running over two different dates. We've got the first one, which is currently running as of recording this video from the 2nd of December till the 4th of December. And then we're going to have another event for this exact same raid on the 16th to the 18th of December. So you're going to have another opportunity to get this Charizard in that raid as well, if you haven't got it in the first one. But remember, you can only catch one Charizard per save file. So once you've caught it in your, your main game, you're not going to be able to catch it again from this event. But you can breed it down so you can get a shiny Charmander. This is shiny locked so you're not going to be able to hunt a shiny once you've got the charizard though what can you do with the event the thing is the item drops from this seven star raid are incredible you're going to get a bunch of large and extra large candies calciums you're going to get vitamins so that's great for ev training the terror shards for changing terror types you're going to get specifically dragon ones you're going to get tms you're going to get the ability patch as well which is an amazing item along with a, a long list of really useful items that you're going to be able to use in your game and that is the main reason for being able to go into these events and farm as many as you can until this event finishes so we have obviously covered this information on the channel before and we did do a theory crafting video which actually worked out to be pretty good in the end with a zoom rail and coupling up the belly drum set with that shell bell item but i've refined a few of the sets to make things a bit easier and give you some more options as well going into it so we'll first start off with the azumarill the azumarill is pretty much like it was in that preview video we have an adamant nature we had to use an adamant nature mint which you can again in Montenevera town if you need that as well we are attaching the shell bell that is the main recovery option that we've got on it the shell bell recovering an eighth of health for all the damage that we do which is great because the hps multiplied on these terror raid pokemon meaning that any damage that we do we're going to get a lot of health back and it means that azumarill can hang around on the field a lot longer we are going with a move set this is the change Play Rough, Light Screen, Belly Drum, and Misty Terrain. The Misty Terrain stops you getting burnt in any other status conditions. The Light Screen just means that you're going to be able to take Charizard's attacks a lot better because it's going to be primarily hitting you with all special attacks. You don't need to worry about the defense stat or any physical attacks from this particular Charizard. And then Belly Drum, and the only move that we need to rely on is going to be Play Rough. We need a Fairy Terra type on the Azumarill, so just make sure that you've got that one. And these are the stats that you're looking at, maxing out the EV in HP and attack but that's all you would need to do and like I say you want to have that huge power ability as well so the azumarill is a really consistent option it can take the hits from charizard particularly after you've got the light screen up pretty easily and once you get a belly drum off you're going to be absolutely nuking this thing so you can do charizard raids i've done a bunch of them solo already so they're easy to do with this azumarill you just need to get it to level 100 obviously to take it on but it's a really good option uh, another option is gonna be flutterman which you can get down in area zero it is a ghost and fairy type you want the terror type fairy on it we're giving it the covered cloak item so it stops it getting confused when charizard uses hurricane and that is one of the big things if you're hitting yourself in confusion if you do get confused from the hurricane which seems to hit very regularly for a low accuracy move then it can be quite annoying and kind of slow you down especially because you are on a timer with this charizard the move set is calm mind fake tears Draining Kiss and Moonblast. Draining Kiss gives you recovery. The Calm Mind obviously gives you a bit more staying power and a bit more attacking power because you're getting a plus one boost in special attack and special defense, which is primarily the things that Charizard's going to be hitting you with. Fake Tears lost special defense by two stages. So you're going to hit the Charizard even harder. And we're going with a Modest Nature. So you'll need a Modest Mint if it doesn't have Modest already. And EV Spread is going to be max HP just to give you that staying power that you need and then maxing this special attack stat out as well just to ensure the maximum damage possible level 100 flutter main and that is that but i feel the most consistent build the mo the one that i would go into any seven star terror raid and even if i get a bit unlucky with hitting myself in confusion or maybe a critical hit from the charizard hatterene feels like the most consistent 
of all of the Pokemon that I've been using for these seven star raids to do them solo. So the Hatterene is going to be level 100, Psychic Fairy type, Terra type is going to be Fairy, and we're attaching the Expert Belt. You can attach the Utility Umbrella on it as well, so it stops things like Overheat and Inferno getting that boost in the sun. But it does have a drawback as well, where Hurricane's accuracy should go down in the sun if it is sunny, but that will be negated if you are using the Utility Umbrella. So it does have its pros and cons there. The Expert belt just gives you that additional boost because we haven't got access to the fairy plate already to boost the fairy type attacks that you're wanting to with Hatterene. But the whole premise of Hatterene is using Trick Room. You will be slower than Charizard every single time once you're in the Trick Room, outspeeding it, giving you that speed advantage. So turn one, you're going to want to set up the Trick Room and then utilize Calm Mind to boost your special attack and special defense. It's going to mean you're able to take the attacks from Charizard so much easier. Draining Kiss gives you that option of recovery as well. Boosted by the Expert Belt just means you're doing great damage to the Charizard and Psy Shock just another option if you would like it. Magic Bounce, the ability on there the EV spread is max HP max special attack and you kind of want to not max your IV out and your speed uh, you want to have a quiet nature on this one uh, boosting special attack reducing the speed stat if possible just to maximize your speed in a trick room environment which makes the slowest Pokemon move first for five turns until the dimensions twist back to normal and that is the Hatterene but these are the three Pokemon I would say get trained up in your game utilize them and we'll go into a raid now with Hatterene and I'll show you how effective this thing can be as a Charizard defeater. The only thing I would say with Hatterene that can slow you down a little bit with using this strategy is the fact that Hurricane can confuse you. So you could go with Covered Cloak on the Hatterene if you're finding that the confusion from Hurricane is causing you a lot of issues. You're not going to have any problems coming into the Terror Raid and being able to defeat the, the Charizard. I'd say like 99% of the time you're going to be able to beat it with this Hatterene. Definitely the most consistent build that I've had to go up against the Charizard. Turn one, it's always going to come out and use the overheat, but not on you and it negates any drops as well. So turn one, just want to set the trick room up. And if you are using Hatterene, you just want to make sure that you are, and the critical hint, not ideal there, and the burn. Not a great start. Uh, the only thing that you would need to do if you're using the trick room is just make sure that you're keeping an eye on your status screen to know when the trick room is running out so i don't know if we're not going to be able to survive so i'm not going to go for a car mine just yet we'll just go for a draining kiss because i don't think we're going to be able to survive a fire blast if we go for a calm mind from this health so we'll get some health back and then we can go for the calm mind the next turn we'll see a hurricane come in it's going to do good damage because we haven't got that calm mind up yet the burn is not ideal generally speaking you're not going to have the burn to contend with uh, but you do have the cheer option where you can heal as well uh, for a turn and we might do that the next turn around you'll be able to get the calm mind up now and this is normally the stage that you're in after you've set your trick room up. If you don't get critical hit and you don't get burned, you know, you're going to be able to get that off and you can see the damage there. But we do get confused. And in this situation, I feel like it's not we're not in a great situation. So we will use that cheer feature. Don't forget to use these. They're here for a reason. They do help you out if you need them. I don't generally have to rely on them too much, especially with the hat. But you're going to get bad RNG just like this it, on occasions. And it's, it's better to use them and uh, keep yourself in a good position going forward where we're going to see. So just to keep that longevity. And now we're in a great position because now we've got the Calm Mind boost up. We've got the Expert Belt on. We can use that Draining Kiss. We're not confused. We're not burnt anymore. And you can see we're going to do some decent damage. Here comes that Fire Blast again. So, yeah, we are confused. And this is the big thing. This is where the Covered Clock is a really good item just to have because you're kind of toying with the 50% chance that you're going to be able to get, you know, these attacks off or not. But you can see how much Draining Kiss heals you back. And once you've got that, that Calm Mind up, you're going to be able to take attacks a lot easier now. You can see he's going to put his shield up now and he's going to nullify our stat changes and abilities. So that's our Calm Mind gone. Before we go into this turn, we just want to check if we've got any Trick Room turns up, which we haven't. So what we want to do now is just try and set our Trick Room up before we Terrastalize. And we also need to try and get another Calm Mind up before we Terrastalize. So this is the issue with these confusions. They're always going to be a bit of a pain to have to deal with. But you've got a 50% chance every time. So it's a bit of a coin flip. And that's the only thing. And that's why maybe the Covered Clock is an option for you. But I just like the extra damage that you get with the Expert Belt. Helps with recovery, etc. 
and we get the Calm Mind up, which is good. So now we're going to be able to take the attacks from the Charizard a lot better. And we just need to get a Draining Kiss off now after Terrestrializing, and we'll be able to really start chipping down this Charizard. Keep an eye on your timer as well, just to make sure that you know you are in a good, a good place. And it's risky here because if we Terrestrialize and we get knocked out, then it's going to be... Yeah, we're going to lose our terrestrialization, which is going to mean the game's over. But yeah, so we didn't risk it. We weren't ballsy enough there. Um, we can go for the draining case. Hopefully it does give us enough health to take another attack from this Charizard, which it should do. So the next turn, when we're not confused, we're a bit safer going for... Yeah, we're going for the terrestrialize now, and it means we'll be able to get all of our health back. So it's just been a bit cautious at times when you have to be and other times when you don't have to. So we've got that Calm Mind boost one we can go for another one if we want just keep an eye on the trick room turns because as soon as those trick room turns do end obviously the charizard will be faster than you and if you're in a position like this and it goes first it will be able to knock you out and that is not what you want especially after terrestrializing so we do some good damage on plus one which is good and you can see the health returns is just ridiculous so you don't need to rely on anything else we see the fire blast come out and we do take that pretty well and like i say it's good just to keep an eye on how many trick room turns you've got going into these games and you can see if i just get rid of the camera we should have yeah we've got two turns left so we're in a good space right now where we could go for um another calm mind now just to give ourselves a bit extra defense boost and an attack boost as well and then we can Probably, maybe, at plus two, get rid of the shield on the Charizard the next turn. And then that sets us up full health to set another Trick Room up the turn after that. Goes so for that really low 50% accurate Inferno. Never going to hit. And then we are in a spot where we can just close this out now. And it is as easy as that. These seven-star raids are easy if you've got the right preparation. And you're going to be able to just farm them. And remember as well, the event will last for as long as you want it to. The event ends as long as you don't go online with your console, with your Switch. You'll be able to keep this Charizard event in your game until the next event goes live. And then maybe that's when you want to go online. As soon as you go online, your dens are going to be updated, of course. But the Charizard raid dens will actually stay in your game if you keep your console offline. So you'll be able to do this for as long as you want. And you can see the item drops who haven't got the ability patch here, which is a little bit of a shame. You normally do get it, but we've got a bunch of large and extra large candies, the calciums, the dragon shards. Uh, you can see we're getting 10 calciums, which is crazy. So the amount of items that we're getting for money drops, PP up, star piece, bottle caps, it's all very useful items, especially for training teams up and things like that. So definitely one of the best events that we've had so far in these games and these are the pokemon that i would suggest using the hat is going to be the most consistent one i feel the flutter main is great and the azumarill is great but they're three options for you to take away and use in your game to get yourself the charizards and if you do want to get the raid back because you're going to get one per day what you can do is just come into your game now and you can just hit all menu then come down to system settings down to system down to date and time make sure your clock is off via the internet skip your day forward one day click ok and then come back into game it will change all of the raid dens everywhere and it will respawn the charizard one so when you come onto your map you'll be able to locate that charizard raid den and there it is you can see it is going to be there it looks like a six star terror raid den and it is going to have the dragon typing on it so that's all we want to do locate it and we can fly to it and do it again and when we've done that one we can use the date skip glitch once again to get another one and just continually do these dens until we've got as many items as we want if you found the video useful please drop a like do subscribe to the channel if you're new to stay up to date with all of our latest scarlet and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then, friends, take care. Bye-bye.